I'm back with part two. And we ended off with the man who not financially stable, but treating you right. Okay. Well, can that work? <laughs> in some cases, in some cases, that do work. But let's address this realistically. <laughs> the one that's not financially straight, but attending to all your needs, man, y'all gonna go through the y'all gonna go through the mud together. I know what you're gonna say. Y'all gonna build up together. That's gonna make y'all stronger. That's gonna make y'all union. I didn't heard it. I didn't seen it. I know. Can it happen? Yes, it can. However, if we're dealing with statistics, that don't always happen. And more times than not. And in those more times than not, what happens is we tear each other down because the financial situation makes you start. You can't pay this bill. You can't pay that bill. You can't get no gas. You can't get no food. You can't. And then that love that you have and, and she has and he has for each other, that starts to dissipate and dwindle away. Now, now y'all arguing about things y'all weren't even arguing about. Where that love at now? Now y'all getting into it about things y'all wasn't even getting into it. At the beginning, it's always sweet. That's how it is. It's always going to be sweet. It's always going to be sweet as trash. You know, y'all build it. And hopefully, in some cases, them people that go through that together down at the bottom, when they get there, it be grand. In some cases. A lot of cases that don't happen. Because now, one or two people start to get rocks in their jaws. And they looking at this, they looking at this mother, they looking like this motherfucker. We gonna get up out this motherfucking house. What you go? Then, then we start saying insults. Go, go get a job. What you gonna get a job? What you gonna do? What about these motherfucking bills? We gonna pay this phone bill. We gonna pay this light bill. Now that love starting to dwindle down. Now you got some hate jumping off. Yeah, buddy, that love starting to disappear. So. You said, you asked me how you choose between the one who is financially straight and treats you like shit, and then you got the one that's not financially straight but does everything. I can't answer that for you. Only you can answer that, but I gave you scenarios on both. People going to teach you. People going to teach you, teach you how to love them by the way they love you and by not loving you back. People will teach you how to forgive by not apologizing. People will teach you kindness by their judgment. People will teach you how to grow by remaining stagnant. So what do you do? I don't know. I don't know. I know I'll point out to you the possibilities both ways that if a person got money and he's walking over you and dog walking you that you shouldn't be in that situation because I don't care how much money a person got. You don't let nobody dog walk you and walk all over you. That shit ain't no good. I don't care how much money it is. That ain't good. And then the person that ain't got nothing but treat you sweet as pie. Well, in cases, y'all grow together and it works out. In a lot of cases, that don't happen because like I say, at some point, Y'all going to have to have some money. Let's be realistic. Somebody going to have to have some money. You can't go through life living off love and no finance. That don't work. That don't work. That's TV. That don't work. Let's keep it real. I'm keeping it 100. Real spit. That don't work. Somebody got to have some finance jumping up soft can away. And that's just real talk. So right now that's working. And that's beautiful, but at some point, somebody had to go. Somebody's going to have to be financially stable for it to keep working. You get what I'm saying? So, what do you do? How do you how do you choose between the two? Well, I definitely say don't allow that one that's financially straight to misuse you. I ain't got no problem with people using everybody. I use everybody use somebody. I use people. I use y'all from y'all energy. I draw off of it. Everybody use somebody for something. But when you misuse a person, that ain't never good. 
And if that person is misusing you because of their financial status, you need to walk away from that. You need to walk away from that. I don't care here who it is. You need to walk away from that. That ain't love. It's all about power. That ain't love. So, how should I really deal with this then? I don't know. I don't know. I gave you scenarios on one with money, one without. I tell you what, we should never get too attached to anyone unless they also feel the same towards us. Because one-sided expectations can mentally destroy you wealthy or not and that's real spit and that's real spit this was part two and i hope i was able to talk on and, spit and drop that chocolate you wanted might have been white chocolate dark chocolate milk chocolate that means some good some better some bitter but i gave it to you man it's powerful Seesaw of emotions up and down, but I gave it. Got any questions, suggestions, or complaints? Hit me at 50 Snapback Thought 70 on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. And as always, if you can't catch me like that, type in davidmarajr.com. Blessings to y'all.